modern day black Americans are quite hard to figure out at times. They're quite strange to me. I've never seen the black community this ignorant before. I've never seen the black community this passive. Everything that has been done during the civil rights movement has gone to waste and our ancestors, or so-called ancestors, I'm sure are turning over in their graves. I finished watching the video that Dr. Umar Johnson put out in his title, Judge Katanji Brown Jackson Unjustifiably Disrespected by the U.S. Senate. Now, he's saying that she was disrespected because she was a black woman. And I see this quite often on social media where you have black females and even black dudes that's enraged and have their panties in a bunch because they feel that Katanji Brown Jackson as a black woman was disrespected by the racist Republican Senate without giving second thought that the reason why she was nominated in the first place by racist, openly racist Joe Biden was because of the fact that she was a black woman. So when Judge, when Joe Biden nominated her because she was a black woman, not so much as because of her skills, because this is a black female that's not only married to a white doctor, which means she really don't support the black family nor the black community. I almost guarantee you that she does not live in the black community. But the same black female that I felt disrespected her own black dad on national television. And if you watch one of my past videos regarding her, you will see why I felt her dad was disrespected. She praised her moms. She praised her brothers. But she really didn't have much to say about her dad. Which I found that to be quite odd. This is also the same black female that supports and defends child porn offenders. Giving them light sentences. And then apologizing to them. The same black female that allegedly supports the abortion of black children. So, but because of the fact that you felt she was disrespected by the quote unquote racist white Republican Senate, because she was a black woman, Although she was selected by Joe Biden because she was a black woman, which brought race into the picture. But yet at the same time, black Americans don't have that same type of fervor for the black youth that's dying in the street at the hands of other blacks. And I know Black Americans hate to talk about that. They only want to talk about the white man killing the black child. The white police. They're always talking about racism and discrimination and white supremacy. But it's only political. They only talk that point when they want political status. When they want something to be done Politically, then they call for white supremacy, white racist, and racism has now been the main tool that the Democrats use 
to get black people stirred up, protesting, destroying stuff, and then after the white Democrats get what they want, the black people fall asleep as if they were in some type of trance. The so-called black Americans need to stop voting color. Stop voting color because apparently it's not working. You are still on the bottom begging for handouts. When you have illegal immigrants coming here and taking your rights away, are living off of your tax dollars, guess who's on the waiting list for apartments? Black people. Low income black people are on a waiting list just to get an apartment. Many of you are being evicted out of your homes. But illegal immigrants are flown using your tax dollars to anywhere they want to go in the United States and they are given a place to stay immediately. But black people are not on the picket line. They're not tearing up stuff. They're not protesting for a better life. They're doing it to benefit a black person that supports white supremacy and keeps white supremacy alive. Why would you support Katanji Brown Jackson when she don't support you? It makes no sense to me. So black people need to condemn white supremacy on every level, even when white supremacy is being displayed and acted out through black Americans. Black Americans need to stop voting color. Stop voting because of color. Because if you notice, the black, black politicians that supposedly are for you in, in your favor, they did nothing for you. Even AOC, look at what have the black politicians done for black people? They're only enriching their own selves. They are living in gated communities. They don't have to worry about the high gas prices because they can afford it. They don't have to worry about inflation. They don't have to worry about the shortage of food because they are the first in line to be fed. But yet you are vouching and defending them and they've done nothing but lace their own pockets with your tax dollars. The only time they come around is when they want your vote. And they'll stand up and talk black. Kamala Harris was a black woman. She's a Jamaican woman. And she was the first Indian woman. But nobody talks about that. She's a chameleon. I made a video about that. The only time Kamala Harris come around or she even mentioned black people is when she wants your votes. When she wants something from you, but she did nothing to help you, to benefit you. There are no laws signed to help you. Oh, they will talk a good game. But... To have something signed specifically for the so-called black Americans, the foundational black Americans, they have nothing. And they always include someone else 
in order to give you anything, although you voted them into office. Voting color gets you nowhere. Black Democrats are against the black family. And the majority of those so-called black politicians are married to another race. So, black people are loyal to a racist Democrat party that does not have your best interests at hand. You are willing to lose your own family and your friends in the name of the Democratic Party, and they've done nothing for you. You guys were on the front line protesting and on the campaign trail for Joe Biden. They even used you to cheat during the election, and yet you got nothing in return. Black people, the black Democrats, are the slum of politics. You're the slum of politics. So whenever they need something, whenever they want your votes, they go to the slum. You are the grunts. You are the infantry. You are the front line. You are the ones that sacrifice yourselves for the benefit of the black politicians and the white Democrats, the racist white Democrats, the openly racist white Democrats, Hillary Clinton bought a bottle of hot sauce. Joe Biden told you if you don't vote for him, you're not black. He even said that he didn't want his children going to school with your children. But yet you forgive Joe Biden for the openly racist comments that he made. I don't understand. So black Americans, you stick your neck out for the Democrats, the, the illegal immigrants, the Africans, Ketanji Brown John, uh, Jackson, and yet you always get nothing in return. Right now, I'm preaching to the choir because you're not listening. And you will come back and say, well, both parties are no good. You won't acknowledge the fact that you've been hoodwinked and bamboozled by the Democrats. You always got to bring in, well, the Republicans, they racist too. And it makes no sense to me. So black Americans, you need to stop being the slum of politics. You need to come up. You're loyal to the racist Democrats and you need to stop voting color just because you see a brown face and see if you understand the rules of engagement of war, you would know that your enemy would use someone that looked like you to get you to do or better yet, to infiltrate the black community. All they have to do is use a black face, use a brown face to come in and talk a good game, pay them pretty good money, and they get you to dance to their music in the name of blackness. All they need to do is just shake their fist and talk black and give you what you want to hear. And you will bow down to them. And then they'll go back into their little gated communities and you're still on the bottom wondering what happened. You ain't did none for me. We voted you in the office. You think they care about you saying or reminding them that they voted for you because election time come around, they're going to do the same thing and then you're going to vote for them again because you're conditioned. So, Feedback, tell me what you think, subscribe, click on the Cash App until this time, until next time.
I'm fearless.